you get in exposed. We're gonna mess someone up today. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was just me. Okay, what up, guys? We're gonna go ahead and get this video started here quickly, or here in a minute. Let me move my windows over so I can see when y'all are commenting this time because last time I kind of left y'all hanging. So let me get in this real quick and then we'll get started. Obviously today is um, today is a little outside of the norm because of the fact that I am going somewhere tonight. Uh, they have this cool little thing in Atlanta called it Li a live after five. It's like a downtown event where they lock the city down. It's actually in Roswell. It's not in Atlanta, um, which Roswell is right outside of Atlanta. Anyways, uh, but they do this really cool event there where they lock down the city. Um, and basically people get to walk in the streets and everybody's out there drinking, trying all kinds of foods. It's like a local event. So it's a great networking event. Number one, really cool way to meet new people, um, especially in that area. There's a lot of money over there. So I'm going to go there. But anyways, I wanted to get with you guys on somebody who's been irritating me. And the reason why this irritates me is because of the fact that a lot of my students come to my course after wasting basically 400, 500, 600, whatever their course costs, dollars, trying to learn how to start a marketing agency. All right. All of this, you know, <laughs> it, it's kind of been building up for a while. I usually, you guys know me, I don't like to put out content that isn't going to be helpful. But I wanted you guys to be aware of why you need to stop following this person with regards to at least social media marketing. If you want to follow him for cryptocurrency, that's great. I think he hurt a lot of people over there. Um, but you guys, <laughs> seriously, like for at least for digital marketing, you do not need to listen to this person. He does not know what the hell he's talking about. Um, and when it comes to cryptocurrency, I would caution you because he likes to build things up that aren't necessarily true. All right, so I'm gonna go through some of the reasons why his channel sucks. Um, and I'm just gonna be straightforward and pretty blunt about it because I really don't like what the kid does with people's money, which is taking that money and not giving them what they really need. He's one of those where it's like, oh, well, you know, his course sucks, his course sucks, took it all fluff, no meat. And see, that's the thing. We don't ever get that about our course. I, I have never had someone come to my course or leave a comment or request a refund and say, your course was just fluff. I didn't learn anything. Everyone who has come to my course has learned something. And so that's what kind of irritates me. So what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to share my screen and I want to show you guys why this person is not the person um, that no, it's not clickbait, William. We're going straight through this. Like, I'm going to show you guys exactly why you don't want to follow this person. All right. So you should be able to see my screen now. Um, and we're looking at a tool called Social Blade. Um, and what Social Blade does, I, well, that was Canva. But Social Blade allows you to look at traffic on someone's channel. And I want to show you guys something really awesome. It's been at least making me happy. Look at the subscribers. He's lost in the last 30 days, 1,500 subscribers. So let's talk about that really quickly. If you guys have been on Mr. Hildreth's channel and his weird faces that he makes where it looks like he, never mind, I'm not going to say anything. That was going to get uh, unclassy. But look at this, guys. He started his channel way, way, way back here with Ryan, or with Hayden Pedal, which I'm not going to say anything bad about Hayden. I think Hayden is a genuine guy. I think he truly wants to help people. I think Ryan wants to make money, so he's going to use you to make money. All right, so you'll go through this channel and you see a lot of his content in the beginning is, you know, getting clients with email, um, whereas, you know, social growth. Uh, let me see. Where's all this other stuff? The student lands, you know, a $1,500 per month client. He started off his channel back with Ty Lopez and he started saying he was a social media marketing expert. He started trying to teach ways for people to do marketing. And, you know, I started watching his videos and it was funny because me being an actual expert, I can easily tell the kid doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, he's literally regurgitating Ty Lopez's content. And that's it. So here's where he started to finally take or first take off. You know, we had all of his stuff about this. Um, he was starting to do some affiliate marketing. So he breaks off from his you know social media marketing course and goes directly into affiliate marketing, 
which, you know, that's cool and all, but <laughs> if you're going to start off saying you're a pro in something, then try to actually prove that you're a pro. You created a course that does not make you an expert. Um, and to be honest, I don't know why you created a course to begin with because I don't, you don't have experience to qualify you as a teacher in digital marketing. You had a friend, Tanner Fox, who was making a lot of money that you were feeding off of. Okay. And that's another big reason why his channel grew. Let's continue on. All right. So you can see right here, live Q&A with Tanner Fox, new, new Amazon product. He's leeching. That's all he does. He leeches off of what is going on right now. He doesn't actually have any expertise in anything. As far as his financial expert advice or whatever is concerned, I don't know if he's an actual financial expert. I know that's what he started off before he was ever, you know, he like how to start an investing, how to start investing, opening a brokerage account. Like his first stuff was about that. And honestly, it probably wouldn't even have as many views as it has if his, his channel wasn't as large as it is now. But then you can see he quickly switched into social media marketing. Then he quickly switched into affiliate marketing. Then as soon as cryptocurrency came out way up here, you see he started to go into cryptocurrency, promoting this BitConnect coin, which actually ended up screwing him over. Um, <laughs> and then he comes back. Here's the funny part. So cryptocurrency fell off the map for a while because it took a huge hit. His big old moneymaker, BitConnect, died, which he was trying, you know, that was the funniest part. His channel literally got big because of BitConnect. Had nothing to do with him being a good investor. He had a ton of people signing up for his affiliate marketing through BitConnect, and that's how he was making money. But he would title his video saying, oh, I made $10,000 today uh, just investing, you know, 500 bucks. Well, that's not the truth. He made $10,000 that day because he had a bunch of videos on YouTube because it was popular because YouTube is all about search traffic. Okay. When people are searching for something, they're going to show your videos if there is high volume of search. And he was putting out a lot of content about BitConnect and BitConnect was blowing up. Right. And then he gets into Ripple, all of these other things. But then BitConnect crashed. Bitcoin started going down. All of the pricing in Bitcoin started going down. So you can see how he quickly got out of talking about cryptocurrency. You don't see too much cryptocurrency. Now you see he's putting out videos again about his you know, Ferrari, which nobody cares about. Um, he's putting out affiliate marketing videos on other per people. He's taking people like Jordan Kilgore, which Jordan Kilgore is a cool guy as well. Um, but you know, Jordan took his course and he's doing content trying to promote him or getting him to come on his channel and actually promoting his channel because he doesn't have anything to talk about. Ryan has no good content whatsoever. I want to show you guys something here on Social Blade. About a month or two ago, he was sitting at about 103, 104,000 subscribers, I believe. He's done nothing but decline, and it's because he's hurt people. He is the type of person that will sit here and take your money just because you're willing to give it away. And he will sit here and say, look, this is the new thing. This is how I did it. When in actuality, he didn't do anything. He got lucky. He got in and at a time when it was a, literally, it was all about timing with this channel. If you look through it, if you study the channel, if you study Social Blade and actually look at his account, look at his content that he produces, he doesn't produce anything with validity. It all has to do with the fact that he knows that it's going to make him money right now. So if you guys, what I'm trying to say, here's why I'm so fired up right now. It's because... If you're looking for a way to make money online, do not listen to Ryan Hildreth. The kid tries to tell you that it's going to happen in a matter of, you know, two weeks. You can make this much money. You'll be a millionaire. This is how I went to be, you know, this stupid kid working at a, at a fast food restaurant to a millionaire in under a year. It has nothing to do with anything that he talks about on this channel at all. All it has to do with is his timing. All it has to do with is putting out products and making people believe that they can make a bunch of money. You never hear, hear me talk about on my channel about, you know, th this, you can make a hundred thousand dollars this year. I'm straight up. I had a phone call yesterday. A guy was messaging me about my digital marketing school course. And he was saying, Jordan, you know, I just need some more clarification. I don't, I don't want to jump into this. You know, I kind of feel like some of it's a scam. And so I called him personally and I said, look, you know, it's not a scam, but I don't want to lie to you. It's not going to happen overnight. The first thing I ask is, what is your experience with digital marketing? And then when I ask that, I'm like, OK, now I know kind of, you know, what you understand about digital marketing. So understand with now that I understand what you know about digital marketing, I'm going to tell you straight up, you know, if you haven't been in this before, it's going to take you six months to a year to really get a hold of it. 
and to really you know start seeing the success you're looking for it's going to take that time because of the fact that this is not a get rich quick scheme it's not ty lopez builds it up to be that way and really a lot of ty lopez's content irritates me for example his little guy jaden gross which jaden's a cool kid i have no problem with jaden but Ty Lopez sits there and talks about how Jaden was this all-star guy who started landing, you know, $50,000 a month clients when Ty Lopez was bringing him to his house and giving him the keys to the city. He gave him everything he needed to know. He hooked him up with all the people that he needed to know to get his agency off the ground right. He had personal mentorship from Ty Lopez, probably for free, just because Ty Lopez knew that if he got some young kid who made a lot of money doing it, he could easily promote it to people and tell them, look, this is what this guy did. You can do it too. Look, this is not, it's not a game, guys. It's not something that you should play around with because this is people's money. And if you want to get your money taken, that's fine. Go ahead, go to Ryan Hildreth's channel, find one of his courses and pay for it. But you can ask any of my students, especially the ones that have taken his course before, which one is the real course and which one sucks? Which one is actually going to show you how to do digital marketing? Which one's going to show you how to build your agency? Which one's going to show you, you know, the truth about it all? Not just the fluff, not just, oh, well, this is something cool. It's going to make you a lot of money if you do it like this, because that's all he talks about. That is it. He doesn't have any good content. He has 101,000 subscribers, yet his average video three weeks ago, 2.4K views, because he doesn't know how to create content that actually resonates with people. He doesn't know how to build content that is actually going to provide value to someone in the digital marketing niche or in the affiliate marketing niche. All he does is talk about the hype and the fluff, and that's exactly how this guy built his channel. That's exactly why I wanted to expose this person because it's not real. There's no value to his content. If you don't believe me, go ahead, buy his course. I suggest you ask for that refund as soon as you buy it because you're gonna be sitting there wondering why you bought it. But the courses, if you're, if you're trying to learn digital marketing, if you're trying to figure out the right way to build a business online, at least take it from someone who's going through the same shit that you're going through, guys. I started this a year and a half and I'm still not a millionaire. I'll be straight up with it. I don't care. I'm not trying to become a millionaire. I'm making great money. I'm enjoying my life. I'm having fun doing it. I'm actually about, hopefully, I just got a, a call back from one of these companies, but I'm about to have a company start sponsoring me to travel. They're going to pay for my airfare. They're going to pay for my hotel. They're going to pay for my food. They're going to pay for all the excursions I do because I told them that I would partner with them and put some content on it about my channel because I know what I'm doing and I know it. I'll put it to you like this. Ryan Hildreth would not get asked to come to the digital summit in Atlanta this year. They would not ask him because I believe that they would look through his channel and see how phony it really is. He doesn't have any high level expertise. He doesn't understand the intricate details of running Facebook ads. He has these videos on here. It's really funny. He has these videos on here about like Instagram story ads that made him, you know, a couple thousand bucks in a day. And he has like these Facebook ads, but, in actuality, guys, he's doing high-level ads. If you asked him what a Facebook ad funnel should look like, I guarantee you we couldn't break it down for you. So I don't want to keep this video too long. I didn't want to make this, you know, just some own, you know, hatred video. I'm just upset that a person would go out there and take people's money like this and pretend that he knows what he's talking about. YouTube actually gave him a check mark, which is something that I'm also kind of upset about because if they look at his channel, if they did the date, if they looked at the research, look at this monthly views. He was sitting up way up 1.31 million monthly views. And now he's at negative 831,000. Now, obviously you can't get negative views, but what this is saying is he's lost so much traction on his channel. And it's all because of the fact that it wasn't valuable. It wasn't actually true. A lot of this, that's why he flops. He flops to whatever is popular. Why is he putting out videos about how to find $1,000 per month clients again? It's because his other content wasn't working for him. It's because he got exposed by several other people about the BitConnect scam and about the cryptocurrency scam. But I wanted to expose him about everything else because Here's the thing, his digital marketing stuff, his affiliate marketing stuff, he's not actually going to teach you the key or the secrets to making all of this money. All of his money came from BitConnect. I would say 85% of it came from BitConnect. 
and his affiliate marketing that he was able to do through it because of the fact that he hit it at the right time. And it was literally timing with this. He hit it at the right time. He was one of the only people doing it. He was one of the only people willing to take the risk, which, you know, I applaud him for that. He took, he's, he's not afraid to take risk. You know, that's great. But when it comes down to learning how to build a business online, when it comes down to learning the marketing, learning the digital marketing, learning the, you know, the, uh, theory and the, uh, the actual process that you need to take to start a business online. I'm sorry, but the guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And I have someone saying, Yazzie, Yazzie Garnello says you're wrong, but Yazzie, I'm sorry. I have several people who would disagree with you. I would bet that there's probably several thousands of people that would get on here and argue that he lost them a lot of money or they took his money for the, uh, the social media marketing course and they found no value. They found fluff. So, you know, he may, I'm not saying the guy is completely retarded he, or completely stupid. He's not. He's not stupid because of the fact that he's made so much money off of people who are gullible enough to believe that he's actually an expert. So I'm not saying that he, you know, he doesn't know how to make money. He obviously knows how to make money, knows how to make money, but he's not going to be able to teach you how to make money with a digital marketing agency. He's not going to be able to teach you how to make money with affiliate marketing. Because here's the thing. I've, I've even seen some of his stuff, dude. His affiliate marketing stuff is, hey, here is uh, you know this platform that I use for affiliate marketing. And then we go on here and we pick a product and then we promote it. No shit. That's all affiliate marketing is. Like I, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out, yeah, that's how you do affiliate marketing. What he doesn't teach you is how to find the right products that are actually going to sell, how to build a channel that's going to promote those products and actually get conversion, how to build follow-up ads or remarketing ads that are actually going to mean something. So I just want you guys to know this. I want you guys to be aware. That's why I wanted to put this video together. So if this was helpful for you, or if you agree with me, Throw a like down there so that way other people can see this. And so that way people can't get scammed by this guy anymore. Seriously, the more likes that you throw on this video, the more le or the less people that will actually get scammed by Ryan Hildreth. So if you've been scammed by him, throw a comment down there letting people know how they got scammed. Throw a like on this video so that way they can see that this guy really is <laughs> a phony. Okay. Let me go through some of this stuff really quick and we'll see what's going on. All right. So. Yeah, Albert, head out to Roswell tonight. Maybe you could, we can meet up in person for once. <laughs> um, there are two courses I recommend on digital marketing, Jordan Steen's course and Seth Himes' Digital Marketing Blueprint. I haven't seen Seth Himes, so I'll have to check that one out. Um, I knew his content was bogus by how clickbaity his thumbnails and titles are. Sen, Sen says, Jordan, you can definitely tell you know your stuff far beyond any of those other jokers on YouTube. The real question is who likes pineapple pizza? <laughs> Nick... <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Justin, as always, I appreciate you hopping on here and telling people how awesome this content is. I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope that you guys have a great evening. Um, I hope that this provided some value for you, or at least, at, you know, at the very least, opened your eyes to who this guy really is and what he really cares about. I'll tell you this. He doesn't care about your success. He doesn't care about you making money. He doesn't care about your agency doing well. And all of that comes from the fact that I guarantee you, if you tried to reach out to him, he's not going to sit there and have a conversation with you like I do. All right. So Ryan Hildreth, you've been exposed. Your channel sucks. Your social media marketing course sucks. Your affiliate marketing course sucks. Your crypto mar cryptocurrency marketing course sucks. All of your shit sucks. I'm going to go have a great time tonight. Y'all have a great, great evening. I hope that, again, you were able to find something in this video that taught you something. But until next time, guys, Serial Entrepreneur out. Later.